Hey everyone, it's Shannon and welcome back to the Also Archives or if you are a first time viewer, thank you for tuning in and please like and subscribe below if you enjoy this video. Um, I know I look different now because I have my hair out for the first time on YouTube, um, but it's still me. Uh, today will be my video about the Drexel Pathway to Medical School program, otherwise known as the DPMS program. So this will just go into the background info about what the program is, what my interview experience was like, and then what the year-long program was and what it entailed. And then finally, I will just give you all some tips if you are interested in applying to this program or similar programs or what are some things that you could kind of look out for or look into when you're doing your research. So I have lots of notes here, so I want to make sure that I don't um, forget to mention anything about the program. But just for starters, the DPMS program is a year-long post back program. So this is a program for students who have already completed the, the general pre-med requirements, but need the extra academic work to boost their MCAT or GPA to apply to medical school. So this program is not for academic ch career changers. This is just for um, academic enhancement. So it was a year long program and um, what it is is a conditional acceptance. So if you get into the program and you meet a minimum GPA and MCAT requirement, which at my time of doing the program was a 3.2 GPA and a 25 percentile in each MCAT section and overall in the MCAT, then if you get those two, then you will matriculate into Drexel Medical School at the end of your program. I applied to the DPMS program in, during my senior year in college and was luckily offered an interview, so I had to travel from North Carolina to Philly to do my in-person interview. And my interview was with a faculty member who actually ended up being one of our professors in the program, but it was super conversational, wasn't stressful. Of course, I was nervous, but the interview was so relaxed and so conversational, it just flew by. Um, and so a couple of months later, I was given my acceptance and was getting ready to move out to Philly. So of course I had high hopes. I was like, this is my shot. I'm gonna get into medical school, boom, 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 get it done. Um, so literally I graduated from college in May of 2017 and I started the DPMS program in mid-June. So I literally went back to back. As soon as I graduated, I started the, the, the um, graduate degree program. So I didn't have much of a break, um, but for anyone who's interested, you can absolutely do it that way, but just make, make sure that you are ready for the challenge. Um, but if you have the time, take a month or two off or take a gap year, then I think it would be beneficial just to give your brain a break. There were two tracks to the program. So one track was for the people who had already met the 25 percentile MCAT requirement. And the other track was for people who had not reached that minimum. So for me, I was in the one that hadn't reached a minimum requirement as of yet. So I was required to take an MCAT prep course along with the rest of the coursework. Um, if, you, if you were to be put into the um, the other track, you would, instead of taking the MCAT course, you would take um, other upper level science courses such as immunology and pharmacology. Regarding the MCAT course, it was a live MCAT course which was done through the Princeton Review. And my previous MCAT studying, I had used Kaplan resources, but to me, Princeton Review was so much better. And um, I, I would highly recommend it for anyone studying for the MCAT. But for me, the class was bar none, was exceptional in preparing me for the MCAT. Um, we, we were required to do full length practice tests, which were kind of like tracked along to see how we were improving. So all these things that were built in with the MCAT prep course was absolutely great. For me, along with the MCAT course, we took courses in microbiology, 
uh, biochemistry, anatomy and physiology, general anatomy, and also um, biostatistics and medical terminology. So this was a fully, fully packed schedule. A lot of our courses were four credits each. The biochem course was eight credits. So that one course literally will make or break you in this program. So um, it was extremely, extremely challenging. It was a big adjustment for me to make. Um, and it just took a lot, a lot of concentration and um, focus to be able to get through all these courses. A lot of them of which were, we were taking all at the same time. It wasn't like one course ends and then you start the next one. No, it was like three courses all at once. So it was, it was a big, big um, learning curve and commitment for me. When we first started, I was gung ho. I was ready. I'm like, we got this. I'm gonna be a doctor. You know, all the the adrenaline was pumping, and I was ready to go. And once we started and started getting the bog down into the work, it really started to kind of push me to another level where I was like, maybe I can't do it. You know, I started to doubt myself and um, was really starting to get stressed out about learning the material and being able to perform well on tests. Um, so I did reach out to a lot of the tutoring services that were available. There was a um, learning specialist office where you can go and seek out help as far as testing goes. So there were resources available, but I think by that point I had kind of gotten into my head so much about my performance that um, it really kind of hindered my success in the program. And then aside from all that, I was dealing with a lot of um, external stressors emotionally as far as um, feeling socially isolated, dealing with depression and things like that. Um, also, I had um, lost one of my good friends and one of my line sisters uh, from cancer. So all this happened during our midterm section of the DPMS program. And all of this working together really took a toll um, on my academics. So unfortunately, uh, I did not make the GPA requirement. That was a 3.2 GPA requirement to matriculate and I finished with a 3.0. So I was so close, but I didn't make the GPA. Um, but on the MCAT side, I blew my MCAT out the water in each section. So I was extremely, extremely proud of my MCAT performance. Um, but you had to have both in order to get the conditional acceptance. And unfortunately, I only had one. So I didn't matriculate into Drexel Medicine. Um, but I did, however, work to finish out the master's degree. So when I was originally asking my advisors about, you know, what are my chances of getting into medical school? What, um, you know, how do my academics match up with people who are applying? They all told me that my GPA was far too low and um, the only way that I would be able to be competitive was if I completed a structured post back program. But let me tell you right now, this is absolutely false. You do not have to take a post back program from a medical school in order to enhance your academics. There are several other ways that you can do this without spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for these programs. Um, the two ways that I've kind of discovered that are way more affordable are, number one, just doing a general master's degree program. So you can go to your local college or university and apply for master's in biology, master's in anatomy, biochemistry, you know, whatever sciences that are available that you would be interested in and do that instead. Because nine times out of 10, these master's programs are far, far cheaper than um, the organized postdoc programs are. The second way that you can do it is just kind of create your own, um, your own postdoc in a sense. So a lot of universities, especially here in Maryland, we can enroll in just single courses. So you can just enroll in a fall semester and take two or three courses in um, either at the graduate or undergraduate level just to show that you are continuing to grow and trying to educate yourself. Um, there are a lot of postdoc programs out there that will give you partial scholarships 
to complete the program or it'll be completely free. Um, but again, those are super competitive to get into and some of them offer specific requirements like you have to be um, a resident of those states, you have to be of a certain background, um, things like that. But if you are willing to take out a loan, if you can um, individually fund your way through these programs, then by all means, they are great. Some of them are like the DPMS program where you get a conditional acceptance as long as you meet the requirements, but others will only offer an interview. So be mindful of what the programs are and what they say about that. Some are the full acceptance, some only interview, and some of them you still have to just apply on your own like a regular applicant. So be sure that you look at the, you know, the fine print of what you're getting yourself into when you're doing your research. So the DPMS program had the, the academic content for sure. It had the MCAT prep and it had the um, tutoring opportunities and learning specialists to review your study skills. But what the program did not offer, um, in my opinion, or what they could improve on would be adding in more mentorship opportunities for students, um, opportunities for research, and then also um, opportunities to shadow physicians in the local hospitals in Philly. For me, those are three things that I think are big as a pre-med. And if I had had some of those things, especially the mentorship, I feel like maybe my performance could have been a little better or I would have felt more supported throughout the program. Um, but again, the DPMS program is a academic enhancement, hardcore degree program. Um, so you get into it exactly what, um, you know, you put, you get out of it what you put into it. And um, I'm sure there are opportunities to seek out research and to seek out um, physician shadowing um, once you're in Philly and you get into the program. Um, but there wasn't anything really um, handed to us in that regard in those in those different areas. Overall, I think the DPMS program in my experience was great. Um, I learned a lot about myself, about how I learn and how I best study from that program. And I think that for anyone who is interested in this program specifically or similar programs, I would suggest to please, please do your research please reach out to me or other students that you may know that have attended these programs so you can get um, more insight into how you may adjust, how you may function in these programs. And also research other options as well. Um, research the master's programs that are just general master's programs. Research just doing your own, um, kind of creating your own program and just compare the prices, compare the flexibility. Are you planning on working while you're studying or are you strictly studying? Consider housing options, where you're gonna live and the cost of all these things. Um, because they do add up in medical school and medical school applications are already expensive enough. Um, just make sure that you're, you're choosing the options that are most feasible for you. Um, and just think about the whole big picture of what of what the program will be. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the commitment? Are you ready to buckle down and be serious about it? So those are my, that is my DPMS experience and those are my tips about the program. Great program, if you can do it, I would highly recommend it applying, um, but, but keep an open mind about other options too. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Please, please subscribe. I will be doing a, a new series up soon about the whole application process. So um, subscribe and keep a lookout for that. Um, but thank you all so much. And this is Christmas Eve. So happy holidays to everyone. And um, I'll see you soon.